Hello, people, in this very short... Yes, yes, I know, it's, I agree. It's going to be a very short attenuation of G attenuation of gene expression, which is kind of a lie, because as it turns out, we're going to kind of skip attenuation, and we're really just going to talk about having a co-repressor. What does that mean? That's something that attaches to a repressor and allows it to repress. So it's an inactive repressor that's sitting around, and it requires another molecule, in this case, tryptophan, because we're talking about the trip operon in this very little short, and we're talking about the repressor being co-repressed. To inhibit transcription. <laughs> okay. So the tryptophan as a co-repressor, the tryptophan molecule, right? That's an amino acid, remember? From pre rack tryptophan is an amino acid, it acts as a co-repressor of its own anabolic operon. What do we mean by anabolic? Anabolic is always building something up, making something, synthesis, right? You can remember the difference between catabolic and anabolic because... Uh, anabolic steroids are illegal to use in Olympic sports or professional sports because they're taken to build more muscle, right? You get ginormous muscles if you take anabolic steroids. So that's building up. So any anabolic metabolism is building things up so, or synthesizing. So the tryptophan operon as we see right here, promoter operator, trip ED, C and BA, these are all the molecules needed in the biochemical pathway to build tryptophan, okay? So if we get transcription of this operon, we make tryptophan. If we don't get transcription, which would be up here, we don't make any, okay? So down here where transcription happens, the product is tryptophan. Oh, let me draw them. Right? Oh, see, there you go, my handwriting. Is tryptophan, which then once you make tryptophan, it interacts with the trip repressor, which, again, m almost always these, trans these um, repressor molecules uh, or the regulatory genes are constitutive, okay, so that's always on. When tryptophan is transcribed from down here, it binds, we get together. Only when these two are together can it bind the operator. What happens when it binds the operator? DNA polymerase with its, excuse me, RNA polymerase, what the hell, Malone? RNA polymerase is bound there, but it can't get through, right? The bouncer is sitting at the operator saying, you are a loser, and you are not allowed to go through and do transcription. No complementary base pairing for you. Don't do it. Don't think you can. You are out. So... No complementary base pairing for you. But when we run out of tryptophan because we're not making it, right? If we turn this off, we're not making tryptophan. Concentrations decrease in the cell. And now there's not tryptophan present. Ooh, now this repressor is inactive, right? All by itself, not active, not able to do its job. 
cannot bind the operator. Guess what? Sigma, RNA polymerase, boom! Transcription, right there. Oh my. Yes, lots of transcription. Oh my gosh, it's like a feedback loop. What the heck, people? Now we get tryptophan. Now when there's enough of it, it binds the repressor and turns it off. <sighs> no more tryptophan. When concentrations are low, it can't bind. This guy can't bind the upper. We make more tryptophan. So tryptophan regulates its own expression. When we don't need tryptophan, because we have lots... It stops its own transcription. When we don't have enough and we need more, <gasps> ah, it's a beautiful, beautiful thing. And here it is, shown all together. The trip operon, we see over here, promoter operator, gene, 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 right? Here's the regulatory gene found elsewhere on the chromosome. Does not need to be near this, right? They're showing it as a separate piece. Could be anywhere. Why can it be anywhere? Well, if we think about, here's our bacterial chromosome, right? It's a big circle. And if we have the trip operon over here, right, does this, does the... Does this little piece have to be right nearby, or could it be anywhere? It's just making the protein that we need, right? It, the sequence here doesn't need to be anywhere near here. So the sequence could be down here, or... I want to go away. Go away. Mm -hmm. There we go. Could be there. It could be sitting right there. It could be over here. It could be anywhere because all we need is for it to do its job, do transcription, make the repressor have tryptophan attached to it, and then boom, binds the operator, stops transcription. Because the repressor and crow repressor are transacting factors that bind to a cis-acting element, these guys could actually be transcribed anywhere along this chromosome. Does not have to be near here. That's why we do not include the regulatory genes in an actual operon. The operon is always promoter, operator, gene, 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 gene. And that is pretty much it. All we have to say about the trip operon is just that. So, thanks so much, and I'll, I'll see you next time. Aww. I know, it is sad. But I'm sure there'll be another one soon. See you guys.